episode of Damn Internet. You scary. We got a very <laughs> two very special guests here today. Uh, first off, we have a comedian, uh, content creator. Um, his dad was the jump rope champion, 88, 89, and 90. Uh, he is a club owner, owns Super Funny Comedy Club, Nate Jackson Super, kind of Super Funny Comedy Club in Tacoma, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Mr. Nate Jackson. And then also to my immediate left, we have a content creator, we have a writer, producer, director, we have a comedian, Miss Vanessa Gratic. What's up, y'all? Chilling, what's good? Well, I just first I gotta say, uh, my dad's the reigning champ. He has a record still. <laughs> so it's 87, 88, 89. I took that to the face to hear. And then are we um don't we get to say you scary or something together? I mean, we 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 can. I didn't know if you wanted to be a part of it. Now what we do do is we freestyle every episode. We, oh, did, put on we, a beat. we do the intro. And every intro is different. Yeah. We haven't done it in a while. We're picking it back up uh -huh. um, because we did a lot of them um, via the internet, and we can't Zoom doesn't just doesn't pick up like that. So uh, I'll make a beat, and we try to rhyme scary with Mary and Harry, transitionary, uh, dairy, anything, any Jerry. Anything Anything airy. Airy. Stay, on stay on the airy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that, that's how we do the freestyle. I'm a hype um, person. You go. <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't rap. Listen. Okay. So what I need? And the show is, is clean. No. Fuck no. Who, who said that? Have I was you just met asking? here? No. Hell no, nah, man. We have a good time on here, man. We okay. actually have drinks typically. Well, where but are they I, at? I mean, I, I would have had to get them before we started. But this, just drink well, this and imagine. <laughs> well, that is. Hit you with a uh, real right quick. behind the ear and that jaw. Is, that is rude. Um, so, um, well, I, I guess we'll come up with a beat. We could do something simple, and then you could take it over for me, and then I'll take oh, it over. Oh, it's a beatbox. Yeah, yeah. We I don't bet I used to do it. I'm, okay, let's yeah. get it. All right, whatever. You want to start the beat first, and I'll kick off the rap? Um, and then I'll pick up the beat from you so you can start rapping. And Vanessa, if you want to rap. Hey. Okay, that works. Get so, it. That <laughs> Got it. So Big I'm booty hoes. first. Yeah, you be my first. Uh -huh. You just come up with a beat, I'm and rapping. then I'll rap, and then I'll hear the beat, and I'll take it over. Wow. You just, yeah. You can hear while you do it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know who's really good at that? Who? Uh, Tangerine. Yeah, really? I swear to God. I can see that. She's and she can slow it down. I'm like, slow it down, slow it down, slow oh, it yeah, down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She can, can do all that. All right, here we go. Let's go. That's right. Coming to you live. That's right. From Kevin Stage Studios. Uh, yeah. Uh, to hear more. Uh, check it out. Outside, the wind is real. Okay, let me start again. That's all right. <laughs> Come in here. That usually Crunch. starts it off. Okay. The DJ uh, fuck it up. Uh, uh, yo. Had this chick named Mary. I said, damn, in the net, you scary. We went to the store, get blueberries. Blueberries. Yum. And pears. Yum. Pears. They get the job done. You know, we just having some fun. Hey. But then she hopped on with the phone. Huh. With a dude named Jerry. Jerry. He said, damn. Damn. Damn, in the net, you scary. Goddamn. Uh. Wow. Hey. I ain't gonna run from it. Let's go. Let's you rhyming or me? Nope. Mm -mm. I don't okay. rhyme. I'm just a hype girl. Okay, bet. Get it wet. Hey. Let's get it in. I'm in the building like I am pimping Ken. I want to get on the beat track. What I'm supposed to say, I got to say things that rhyme with a scare, like mm -hmm. a larry. Uh, catch a ball, Jerry. Rice. Hey. That shit rhymed twice. Uh, let's get it one more time. Uh -huh. uh, white little kids got lice. Uh, I'm in the building and I'm with to here. And I, I want to give you what you'd like to hear. And I, I get it in. And yes, it's no doubt. I got flows like this because I was on while and out. Help! Hey. And now I got a club up north. And everybody loves it because the thing is... A oh. choice that they like to make and they made. I'm the one that's coming off of the top of my brain. Uh, that was great. That was really good. That was good. I was going to bring it back to Aerie. <laughs> I was going to come back to Aerie. You were showing off the wild and out it skills. Was the now. top of yeah, my brain. Coming. Yeah. It was coming. That was great. Then it's Dome, Dome. Skull, Skull. Harry. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. God damn it, and it's you scary. scary. Huh? Yeah. Come on. Make some noise. This this is is somebody wrote fire. This I'll is take why, it. This is why he was on oh, Wild and Out. Uh, this is also why they made him shave his mustache and beard. And gave me a part. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I wasn't a fan of that. And now I won't grow back how I'm supposed to because <laughs> they cut all the hair seeds out. <laughs> so, hat gang. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's out here hat fishing bitches. Yeah, I'm out here hat fishing. <laughs> hat fishing bitches, that's the real thing. It is, and yeah. it's horrible. It's have, horrible. You, have you been on a date with somebody that hat fish you? I have not been on a hat fish, but I was on a mask fish. Excuse me, what? A mask fish. Oh, doing mm-hmm. the uh the Ooh, I had that happen to what was under the mask. Dude, no teeth. Oh. Oh, the girl the girl had a cleft lip. No, she didn't. I was like, put the mask. A grown up? Yeah, she had a cleft lip. Okay. They can fix those? They usually yeah. fix them in children. Yeah, for usually free. fix them while they while they babies. For free. Wow. So you just have to be like neglected as a child. She just wanted that. That was a choice. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That was that was a choice. She was like, "This." That's I mean, how all want. of this was just okay. beautiful. Mm-mm. But that's just I extra that? friction during mm. here. I'm sorry, what? A little extra friction. Mm-mm. Well, no, I don't know. That's a lot, not of, doing any a lot of extra <laughs> air and potential. I'm, I'm not doing any of this right here. I'll let you know that. That is <laughs> out the door. But no. yo, I was so mad. Like when the mask thing came off, and I was like, "Oh, hey!" And he smiled. Yeah. And I said, "The nerve of you!" Not the nerve. The the utter gall. Like I'm not saying I'm the dopest bitch out here, but I'm not a fuck with no tooth <laughs> nigga bitch. I'm just not. He didn't click his thing in to cover Listen, all the little spots. Gone oh. and was happy about it. He was like six four, had body, all that. He thought that that made up for no teeth, and that is not the truth. All right. Wow. wow. So you took him down, but you're not going to make him your man. I didn't take him down at all. I couldn't. You let him hit him for the back. Nope, she not at all. Not right. at all. That's all I'm saying. We didn't get past the smile. I was like, uh-huh. He was like, well, hit me up later. I was like, uh, uh-huh. Yep. I, yep. No. Damn. <laughs> Nobody. Well, I mean, you know, it happens to the best of us. You know what I'm saying? The quarantine, you know, you had, you had a little... Got a couple things doing the quarantine, but we're here now. We yeah. out of the quarantine. <laughs> Shows are picking up, I would imagine. Like, yeah. now that the quarantine is, for the most part, over, more people at the shows. Yeah. That's a great thing. For sure. And I'll be honest with you. It was, like, night and day. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, so, uh, in Washington, they I think they dropped the mask mandate on the, I want to say the 9th of mm-hmm. March, May? No. Whatever it was. Yeah. The day the governor went on TV and was like, eh, no more masks are required. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. There was an additional like two hundred and fifty people that came oh, through. Oh, that's a blessing! Oh, that's awesome. What? That's a blessing! They brought their masks, but they came. <laughs> they were like, "It's obviously we're on the other side." We definitely see people sit with the masks in the clubs. I ain't mad. Oh, at I it. still wear mine. You do? Mm-hmm. Like I do it at I, Ralph's or Target because I don't trust them. I just okay. don't. I live downtown. I don't trust Target? nobody downtown. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll I feel like that's yeah. a Walmart behavior. I mean, if you live Walmart downtown, too. It's, it's appropriate to wear your mask. 20, yeah. If you're downtown, downtown yeah. is yeah. stressful. It's a lot of vagabonds who... and transients, yeah. and I'm wearing my mask. I like the word okay. transients. It's, a good, it's underused. It is. Mm-hmm. This is the first flight I took without wearing a mask. You didn't wear it on the flight? No. Oh, nigga, you are what great. is wrong with you? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I'm I'm on a production, and I I tested negative yesterday, and tested negative uh, this morning, and I get new results tomorrow. So. Nobody. I was gonna wear my mask, had it in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Okay, this you know how it is when you yeah. go raw and you got the condom in, in your hand. <laughs> but the Fair. sweet air is just too That's good. Fair. You got the condom in your hand. Fair. You can practice safe, we've safe all traveling. Been, Listen, we've, we've all, been, all been, there. been. I got my mask. Listen, this is this is a whole mask. I have it. Mm-hmm. But when I got on the plane, uh-huh. you know how sometimes like there's other pilots that are just on that plane to get to where they gotta yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was three of them in a row, no mask. No mask. I'm like, well, nigga, y'all got to know more than I know about this. Y'all the pilots. You ever, you ever <laughs> been in a situation where you had the condom in your hand, you was opening it slow, and she was like, you don't need that? And you just was like, you That's when her? you put it on for sure. <laughs> yeah. She can't tell if, you if to. If it's her, if it's the girl's, if it's the girl's suggestion, she's trying to lock you down. Yeah, I'm that's trying to tell you. Well, what if you know she's on burger joint? No, or damn that. Don't taste, you, don't taste How do you know? Did you put it in her mouth? I did not. Did you put it in her mouth? You arm? ever get the condom like over the head and then be like, man, I'm bullshitting. And then throw it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that? <laughs> you ever do like a little bit raw and then put the condom on? Like, well, she almost made me bust. No, I, I, I had a <laughs> I had a <laughs> not for protection. For, fun size for, snicker one time. I was opening that. She thought I was putting a condom on. When she got insulted because we was going raw. I was, I was like, baby, I'm just just looking. You just hungry? Look like a uh, I'm definitely going I'm raw. I'm not myself when I'm hungry, Vanessa. That's what, I'm not okay. going to do my best. So though. it was about <laughs> to go down. Mm-hmm. What part? What part did it go down? Like where you getting the head? Like I'm trying to figure out what was happening when you said, I was "Let me open my pants a snicker." Off. I went out, took my pants off. He I found the snickers in his pocket. And I felt the. Oh, oh shit! I forgot I had that. Yeah. I'd have whooped like, your ass. You, you wouldn't have got, got a, you why? wouldn't have got no pussy that night. Why not? First of all, if you can be distracted from cooch by a Snickers, it's a Snickers. I'm done. I'm done. I'm still gonna get the cooch. I'm done. I'm not. I'm getting that cooch. She don't appreciate the Snickers. That's, That's what, what it is. is. Did I'm, you I'm offer her sure, I'm trying to make sure I do a it. It was bite size. It was a shareable. It's a bite size one. Fuck that. The big one's got two of those inside. He only found one little one. I don't know. She finna have a mouth. Why he was fucking today after Halloween? I don't know. I don't know why he was. 
Hey, having sex. This, this this dick got enough veins for her no. already. She'll, she'll be, be she'll be fine. So all the little veiny chocolate top. That's <laughs> your that's you. That's crazy. <laughs> How close to Halloween was this session? Why did you have a bite size Snickers in your pocket? I like bite size Snickers. Oh, you just randomly stops? might have one. I don't have one right now. Okay. <laughs> Definitely I want to tell you how hard he pushed my leg, though. My, my bottom half almost flew off the seat. My top would have still been here. I needed to see what was in the pocket. I, I would have heard it inside the denim. You would have. You would have. I would have shared if I had some bites out sneakers right now. I would definitely share. Two. I am not. <laughs> Somebody said, Tiffany said, that definitely kills the mood. No, it Thank does you. not, Tiffany. Yes, it does. No, it does not. I'm sitting up there. I'm ass naked waiting for you to get it together. She was getting naked, too. I hear the rapper. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, hold on. Hold on. We don't even do condoms like that. Right. You're like, nah, I'm cool. It's a Snickers. Yeah. You, you don't get your fat ass I out my bed. Her you could have traced that Snickers. She don't, it could have been sexy. <laughs> it would have been sexy. <laughs> I just take the little bite size Snickers, go, like, just go over the breast and like, boop, boop, boop. That would have been fire. No. And then take my tongue and trace along that. No, you, you know you're what? Not, you're not well, tracing me with a Snickers. You have oh, no I imagination. Have, I have imagination. You have no it vision or imagination. But you didn't do none of that. You popped it in your goddamn greedy mouth and couldn't even answer. You're not, you're well, not living. I, I, answer, I didn't start chewing until I answered her. You're not living your best life. She not. Oh, I am. You limited. You, 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 <laughs> you stagnant. That let me know you had some boring sex. Vanessa Starfish. That's a lie. So Vanessa... <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I can't find a good man, but I can find some good dick. I am the dick whisperer out this bitch. You the dick, dick whisperer? Whisper? Listen. Listen. Was not ready. Was not ready for the I'm dick just, whisperer. I'm trying to tell you. That <laughs> I can't find a man to be with to save my motherfucking what life. What did say back some, when you whisper to them? Some great dick. What did the dick say back to you? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, what time is this over? <laughs> you better you go get some dick right now. You about to set it up? What have we done it, foe? Uh, we'll be done about 3.30, 3.40. Oh, okay. He might not be available. He's probably coming out to the dentist's office. <laughs> that Same nigga. nigga no. if, he, if he got it. <laughs> Same no, nigga. I can tell. He has the ones on us right yeah. now. <laughs> if he got any self-respect, he'd be getting some bite-sized stickers to get ready. <laughs> Take it down. Man. Play seduction. <laughs> you got to level up. Movie. We can't just be ice cubes yeah, and whipped, whipped cream. cream. I don't, All that shit mess up You know bed. we lactose. You don't do no ice cream. What if he put caramel on you? Whipped cream. I've done caramel. Okay, I've done but caramel. you haven't done nougat. I don't want to. First nougat. of all, <laughs> nobody should be spreading nougat over anyone. That's the one. Number two, that shit is that shit is immature. Don't put no whipped cream, no N syrup, no, mm -mm. no chocolate, or no no caramel in my sheets. Okay, I use Ice real works. sheets. Ice works because that dries and doesn't leave a stain. I did red wine once. What the what? fuck is wrong with you? You're a maniac. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Just what in, in each other's belly button? She got a nigga with shots out of belly button. She got a nigga with an eight pack and just start grabbing shit, and pouring shit you in. Ain't got there. no glasses and no shot glasses in the house. Mm. Y'all stifling because I know y'all ain't taking no shower first. We were in college. We were in college. Even more of a reason why they didn't take a shower first. That's 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 just some trifling shit. Did we? Shit. I no, think we did because he was a not. trainer. We were coming from the gym. Oh, he's sweaty ass thing. Definitely. We, we took, took a shower. shower. It wasn't a good one. You took a shower together and then poured wine on each other. Something like that. Huh. First of all, let me, let me say this. That's one way to do cake. communion. Fellas, if you want to partake in conversations like this, but you feel like something is holding you back, I want to tell you about Blue Chew. Okay, Blue Chew <laughs> is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Now, if you can get something that makes you perform just as well as the other thing and it's cheaper, why would you not do that? You know me and Pat have been promoting Blue Chew for almost two years, if not more than two years right now, and I'm a big fan of it. Let me let you know something. I didn't need Blue Chew. I just wanted to see what the possibilities were, and they mm -hmm. are endless. You know what I'm saying? Blue Chew is like putting a, a cape around yourself, okay? It's going to take it to the next level. It's very easy. All you have to do is go online, sign up, and once you get a response from one of the licensed physicians, you will receive your package very shortly. And guess what? The best thing is you do all of this online. You don't have to leave your house, have no awkward, uncomfortable conversations with your doctor, be in the, 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 the pharmacy with people looking all over you. No, we're not doing all of this. You do all of it online. And one of the other great things about it is you can take it anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead and be ready whenever the opportunity arises. All right? Um, I can't talk enough about Blue Chew. I'm a huge fan of y'all seen the videos that I make on my Instagram just about Blue Chew. I'm not kidding, fellas. When you try it, you will love it. So try it for day because I'm gonna hook you guys up with a free month. That's right, you get a free month of Blue Chew. All you have to do is pay five dollars for shipping. Mm. So go to bluechew.com, use the promo code DIYS to receive your first month free. Nate, try it. 
I promise you will not regret it. Go to BlueChew.com, use the promo code DIYS, you'll get your first month for free. All you have to do is pay $5 for the ship. You got $5, buster! Get the $5, to get that Blue Chew. Get it cracking off y'all. Oh, the Blue Chew ain't. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is off the record. The ad is over. Okay? <laughs> this is me being me. That Blue Chew, let me tell you, me and my wife renewed our, view, our vows from that. It's different, different. I done tried other stuff, little gas station stuff. That shit didn't work. <laughs> okay. Blue Chew? Mm -hmm. Blue Chew. <laughs> Child, I just upped my milligram to the 45. It's got a 30 and 45. <laughs> You Went to the day. 45. No, you're not. No, you're not. You just take one a day. You don't oh. take it more than once every 24 hours. But man, oh man. But you one take a day? it. You take it as yeah. a regimen, or I you don't. take it just when you're supposed to fuck. Just, just when I want to spice it up a little bit. I don't take it every time I'm about to smash. Okay. But like, you know what? I'm jumping off the fucking rafters today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might, yeah. so I may take it twice a week or something what like about that. Your heart. That's why I do it twice a week. I don't do it like you know. I, and I've had no problems with it. And I'm on high blood pressure. I get checked regularly. I go to the, the doctor. I get physicals, all of that. So I've had no problems with it. I'm wow. absolutely a fan of Blue Chew. Okay. It comes right to your door. I get what? I think I get <laughs> 15 intended. a month. Yeah, What's 14? the difference? Times just your, your endurance? Oh, yeah. The endurance, the stamina, and the, the bounce back. Okay. So you're like, I'm, I'm right back. Let's go. <laughs> I never left. There you go. <laughs> it's, 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 it's still like... Mm. And that's what she said. Like, oh, he still look like he wants some up. <laughs> Fred always said, oh, he heavy. He's still heavy. <laughs> right. Still something in here. Because with that blood in it, it still got a little help to it. Yeah. It got a little, little weight yeah, to yeah. it. Hey, I'm telling you. That's without bad. getting too in depth, mm -hmm. that shit is amazing. I'm talking about one time, three back to back. Three blue shoes back to back? No, no, three. It's, uh, back to back. Wait, what's it sound like? It's, uh, Oh, okay. that right there. Oh, is that a cum? That's mm -hmm. a bust off. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> and then me going. Ugh. That's that's <laughs> a very. Uh, that's what that is. Okay. That's a so very subdued. Hmm? That's a subdued cum. What do you was it supposed to be like? I don't know. I was want? just asking. It was just very. It was very like. Uh, I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Before we get into the first topic, are you bothered when a man does a cum, or if a man does a cum? Bothered? No. Is it concerning to you? Do you do you second guess the quality of vagina? No. If he doesn't come. Do I second guess myself? Absolutely not. Okay. But I will. It will give me pause. Like, huh? Then it gives me a little more motivation. Mm -hmm. Something gonna happen by the end of this night. I okay. Somehow, some way, you gonna come. Okay. But All right. you know, sometimes it's not a night control, especially like that second one. Mm -hmm. And that second one comes. Oh, I don't give a fuck about the second. The okay. first. <laughs> no, that second one is the only one that's real. That first one was in there all day. Well, we not. You didn't even that, earn that one. That, that, that second one was locked. I mean, you know how many other things alone. I thought about that that first one had that's in it. That's a really but if good I had point. To be concerned the only about second nuts that, all the time. No, nah, that second nut is the one that was for you. The thoughts behind it were mm -hmm. all for you. That first nut, I woke up with that on my mind, dreaming about somebody else. I saw somebody <laughs> walk by. I seen a fat <laughs> ass. At the bus stop, all of that is in that nut. That I'll ain't for I'll you. I'll take it. The most erections <laughs> You'll take at that. church. I'll take it. That's fine. Yeah. I got the most erections at church. Doing just be what it praise is. Praise and worship. So them bouncing. I, it wasn't my fault. I was a young teenager. That did thing do was what it got to do. Yeah, that did gonna do what that did got to do. I'm grown now, and this nigga might trip out sometimes. <laughs> You gotta learn to pull your dick up. You have to put it in the waistline. You gotta pull the dick up. You gotta pull that get waistline. Under put that in that waistline. Let that, that blood drain out. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be walking around with a loaded pistol. You're gonna go through TSA. They're gonna pull you to the side. Sir, what is that? They're gonna slap your dick. That's my dick. Put down the firearm. Now your dick just got hit in the I airport. Can't. That dick attached to me. That never happens. Who, to who? <laughs> you got your dick slapped in the airport? Couple of times. <laughs> yeah, Couple right of times. Right on the okay. lid. All yeah. Right. They slapped the helmet. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. It ain't fun. But it's happened. They said, how do we get here? <laughs> <laughs> Police grabbing dicks. Blue Chew is how we got here. <laughs> Police grabbing dicks. <laughs> Please. I am trying to figure out how we They're got here. They're not just going to grab it and I hold know. still. They're going to shake. They police. They got to shake it a little bit. So now y'all getting jacked off by the TSA? No, I'm not jacked no, off. No, just no, letting no, you know no, they no, in no, charge. No, Bring yeah. your ass over here. Yeah. It's more of a snatch. <laughs> it's only a jack off when you stroke. Snatch don't really count. Yeah. But if, anything, if they do it like that... Let me find out you out here snatching dicks during hand jobs. No, I did not. She worked for TSA for eight months. She I snatched did not. Dick. <laughs> she snatched once to do dick for Listen. both. Freest thing you did in the bedroom. Oh, shit. Lick the nigga's gums. Cause he didn't have no Drink teeth. Merlot out of a nigga's <laughs> belly button. Look, and that didn't even make the list. I was like, huh, Jesus what is Christ. Right. 
Well, I'm just thinking about know. that. This, listen, know. the hypochondriac in me is just thinking about these sheets. Red no. wine don't come out. Mm-hmm. It don't come. What's we that put thing that down first. The... We put something down first. What a fucking uh, bathroom liner, <laughs> a shower liner. What the fuck you put down to protect red wine? A trash bag. There ain't nothing you can put down to protect your bed and your sheets from red wine. You got this is they put made down up. puppy pads. They fucking on puppy pads, <laughs> people. <laughs> They don't fuck that, no puppy that's, pads. That's not a bad idea. It's not? it's not a bad idea. No, but so what was up under y'all? It was um, it might have. He put the fuck tile up under him like this will catch it. The period joint. <laughs> the black. Shit, it might have been a shower liner. It was plastic. It was definitely plastic. a whole shower curtain. The yeah, liner. the bed liner. He might have had the bed liner thing. Yeah, yeah, the the liner, But yeah, we wasn't fucking up no sheets. I'm too OCD for that. Yeah, that's. But you was in high school then. No, college. College. Oh, okay. College. You, was, you was you was aware back then. You were very aware of like that. Mm-hmm. Like that? I was. What college? Mm-hmm. Hampton University. Oh, you went to Go Hampton. Pirates. Hey, hey, hey. Hampton lets you fuck on the first date. Most of the people from Hampton. Wait That'd a be minute. the <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not saying you Here's wrong. I'm just saying. Here's some dick. Have a good day. <laughs> Listen. It ain't no thing. Bless your heart. I didn't. That just means you know what you want out of life. I am ain't not nobody shaming nobody with you. for smashing on the first day. Yeah, don't. Sometimes you need to. Absolutely. Especially like if you know that you don't want nothing else for that person. Exactly. Why wait? Exactly. Oh, well, I'll see you next time. Mm, this dick said tonight. If you met somebody and you like, I'm gonna eat. fuck you eventually. Huh? Uh, we may as well get it done before you get on my what nerves. What we waiting for? Yeah. What we waiting for? That's yeah. all I'm thinking. We can both we know agree we got a this future. is gonna happen. Let's just get to it. Yeah. See, Nate got a cheat code. Nate can sing. Nate be singing the draws <laughs> off of these toes. I'm always jealous of somebody that can sing. You can sing your ass off. I can sing some. Yeah. Oh, shut the fuck. That's the humble brag. I mean, I you know, I can hold a note. Shut the fuck up, But Nate. I'm not singing for no pussy. You ain't never singing for no pussy? No. If I sing, okay, eighth grade. <laughs> Always one. Me and my homeboy Travis had met these two <laughs> girls. One was the one I liked, and one was the one he liked. So there we were, laying on the floor at my mama's house, uh, singing into the, uh, <laughs> the the phone. Yeah, leaving the whole voice singing, singing <laughs> so for Christ. real. Round and round I go. No, no, he was there too. Oh, ooh, oh, Travis. Travis. Oh yeah. I didn't sing the whole song. Okay. I did my back part. and forth. Back and forth. We were both trying to fight. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> round and round I go. Mm. Mm. That was your part. Oh, that was supposed to be me? You were supposed to jump well, in. Well, I'll stop only, you mm-hmm. know. I, I guess know. it's all in, in my mind. mind. Oh, so you done this whole too. Hey. That's what it Take like. your time. I don't sing for dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but dick, dick make you sing. My song, my sing go-to was... Sing to a was, dick. Um, now that. It looks like a microphone. It's just a microphone. Uh, um, my go-to right. song was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what we're doing, we're going to do that. Damn, um, microphone, you scary. <laughs> four Steps. Drew Hill. Oh, yeah. That and we was, were. The, the beginning, because that was like one of the only songs where Cisco was lead. We mm-hmm. were. Mm-hmm. That one right there. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Say you ain't never been it. Oh, it sounds a bit like a church it. deacon. <laughs> <laughs> First of all. <laughs> All three of us are built like church deacons. What you're not going to do Wait is come for just me. Deaconess. Wait a minute. <laughs> she <laughs> called us straight. She was like, I wouldn't even sit on that side. Put a button together. Yeah. <laughs> church deacons? Wait, is it four steps or five steps? It's it five. was five steps. It's five steps. I did say I wasn't going to do that to you. You could have told me. It's all good. I was trying Sometimes to I nice. mess up. Players fuck up. Mm-hmm. All the time, man. Oh, my God. I had a dude sing to my cooch once. You say what now? I had a dude sing to my cooch. That's romantic. Like no. opera or like, just like He was trying to sing something. It was somebody who I was never going to fuck. And he tried. This never going to fuck. Esau. Never going to fuck again. <laughs> he no, saw does that did. on stage. He grabs a woman out of the crowd and starts singing to him. <laughs> he sings Maxwell. He all in front of the pussy. They be married. He looking at the husband. <laughs> That what, that's what he does on stage. If y'all don't know who Esau <laughs> is, make sure you go watch Headliners on HBO, presented by Marlon Wayans. He has an amazing lineup. Tony Baker, uh, Shantae Wayans, D.C. Irvin, uh, Esau McGraw, and Sidney Castillo. It's a fantastic show. Yes. It's fantastic wonderful. show. And you'll see Esau on Shantae there. Wayans. Shantae Wayans. I said she that. She said it. Mm-hmm. I just want to say it twice. Okay. Uh-huh. Shout out to her. She just went to Hawaii. She's performing in Hawaii this, this mm-hmm. week. That's a fun place to perform. Mm-hmm. The shows don't be shit. Yes, they don't be shit. But you you don't have about go 40 have people that, but fun. you get to be in Hawaii. Man, you in Hawaii. Shows don't be shit. Hawaii people, they don't, they, well, you know what, Kev sold out Hawaii mm-hmm. twice. That was fun. 
Well, that was at, that's at the big one. That was at uh, the college, the university out there. Oh, so when they do it, it's different. Yeah. But the outside of the, are different there's shows. two places, three. There's Blue Martini, there's the college, and then there's one other one I, I can't think of, but it's like an outside. It's where Joe Coy was. It's an outside. Mm. I mean, those are the three spots on Oahu Waikiki that are like mm-hmm. fire. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, it'd be like people just putting shows together and oh, shows yeah. be cool, but it don't be. <laughs> it's not as good as when you get to go outside to paradise mm-hmm. right. after you perform. Hell yeah, man. But Hawaii is just so relaxing. Like, I I absolutely love it. One of my favorite places to vacation. The the scenery, the temperature, the water, the sights, the food. Oh, I mm-hmm. eat good in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And I do I do big napping in Hawaii. I go, <laughs> people are like, you go out. on vacation to go to sleep? I do big napping. People vac- don't understand. We day. do too much. When we go on yeah. vacation, we want to do fucking nothing. Nothing. Just right? Nothing worse than going nothing. on vacation with an old itinerary having ass yes. bitch. Yes. <laughs> I had to tell like, my I'm mom. I'm going to need a vacation after this shit. <laughs> I told my mom the other day, because we always go to uh, Port Towns in Washington, me and my mm-hmm. two of my really okay. good friends, to see my godparents. And she was like, well, can I go? Will that ruin y'all's trip? I said, it will. <laughs> she was like, what? I said, you fucking up the bedroom assignments. Right. You always want to do some shit. We mm-hmm. want to go drink wine and look at the water. That's it. That's she it. was like, but you got to do something. That's why you can't come, See? bitch. That's right. why you don't your have mind, to do you think we do. Yeah. Because you don't do shit on a regular basis, so you got to go do some extra shit when you're out. Exactly. I had such a good time sleeping in Hawaii. When I got back, I immediately ordered me a Helix mattress, okay? <laughs> Helix is... One of the best mattresses on the market. Can right? I like hype man with you on these? I mean, you can jump in whenever you need. Everybody's unique, uh, and Helix knows that. So they have several different ma- several different mess- mattresses. Several mattresses, models to choose from. They have a soft, they have a medium, and have a firm mattress. Uh, these are mattresses firm. great for cooling you down when you sleep, and mattresses for keeping your spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains. They even have a Helix Plus mattress for plus si- plus size sleepers. That's us. I don't know why that would trip me up. Right. <laughs> you know what's funny? When I took the, the mattress quiz, that's the one they recommended for me, too. That's the one they got. Yeah, get you this plus size sleeper. I took the Helix quiz, and I was matched with the plus size uh, mattress because I wanted something that felt smooth, that, that was soft, soft. Uh, but still firm enough for my spinal alignment and something to keep me alignment. cool. Because I am a hot sleeper. I'm that sleeper that has hot one sleep. leg out, has the fan on. I need leg to stay out. cool, and this mattress is perfect for that. So if you're looking for a mattress, Look. all you have to do is take the quiz. You order the mattress Bobby that you match to, nigga. and the mattress comes right to your front door, shipped for free. It's going to be in a tight roll. It's going to be heavy, okay? Oh, so you're, you're going to need two people to get that up, especially if you have stairs. That's what That's I have what to do. She um, <laughs> it's the number one best overall mattress pick of 2021 <laughs> and by GQ and Wired Magazine. GQ. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors Chiro of sleep medicine Rector. as the go-to solution for improving sleep. Solution. Just go to helix.com slash D-I-Y-S Take their two minute quiz and they'll two match minutes. you with a customized mattress that'll give you the b- best sleep of your life. Um, right, and right, right now, right. Helix is offering up two hundred dollars off of all mattress orders and two, two free pillars hundred. for our listeners at helix.com slash DIYS. So again, two hundred dollars off a new mattress. You know it's time to get rid of the mattress. You had that mattress through four moves. Okay, four you brought them from moves. six different states over. It's time get you your new mattress Oklahoma. and get you. $200 off your mattress order and two free pillows. The mattress of your free choice. Pillow. It is amazing. Mattress. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> you need somewhere to do your blue chew activities. They go fuck with the mattress sales. Why is that so creepy? Your mattress <sighs> haunted. They said to hear his tongue fell down the stairs the whole act. Y'all know how I do. I don't know why y'all <laughs> acting brand new. Don't be acting brand new because new guests there. Y'all know exactly how the fuck I do. Uh-huh. Um, I was gonna say you've done very well on these ads. I've been, been messing up and stumbled a little bit. I, this coffee <clears throat> makes me salivate, and it's just a lot going on. Anyway, Kendra <laughs> dropped a new video yesterday. Did Incredible. y'all see it? No. Incredible. I didn't Incredible. See it. You haven't seen it? Mm-mm. Oh my god! Incredible. Fantastic, fantastic video. Um, Some of the faces were so good. You, I was like, did it change? I yeah. think they were making it flicker. Yeah, it was crazy. That fake mm. deep. Technology is what's it called? Fake deep, really? Yeah, like they've they've done that on a couple different things, even on porn. Like it's it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. How do you I'm know not, if you're looking at 
the real person or not? You have to be very, very good at, at peeping out. They like, said it's called deep fake. Oh, deep yeah. fake. Okay. Oh, deep fake. Sorry, not fake deep. Um, but yeah, man, it's it's you just have to know maybe I don't know birthmarks to certain tattoos or something like that. It's crazy. But if you if you're watching porn, do you care that much if it's the real person? It's exciting to see who's getting the hell smashed out of them. Yeah. But if you don't know them, no way it doesn't matter. No, but that's why they change the face to someone you know. Oh. Who's your celebrity crush? Aldous Hodge. All right, so there's Aldous Hodge getting smashed. Mm-hmm. All smashing. Eh. By Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> they can make it anybody you want. They're going for ratings. <laughs> it's Johnny Depp going the fake problem, deep. Here's the problem with seeing like my celebrity crushes smash mm-hmm. is that we live in LA, so celebrity crushes could definitely get it at some point. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to see everybody that they fuck be for me. Just. I don't know why. It's not about everybody. And it's not it's about just what's like, on the screen right then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know they just smashed a lot of people before you, so that shouldn't even matter. Yeah, I know. I don't want to see it. But that can kind of give you an insight of what you got to look forward to, too. If a no-name does enough porn, they're going to be known anyway. I don't fuck porn stars, either. I just but watch you, them. But you know them. I sure that you in the hell know do. You'd be like, hi, Marcus. Mr. Marcus is my friend. I'd be like, hey, boo. Hey, see? Pumper. How you doing? Oh, uh, Brian. <laughs> Yo, Brian be recruiting by my nail shop. I'm like, if you don't get away from always fiddle. recruiting. <laughs> yes. Take that jewelry off, Mr. Pumper. I and want the best for you. He is how Air old Force is he now? Be wearing. <laughs> and still walking around in white beaters. Nigga, you are 50. He was grown when I was young. Yeah. <sighs> Speaking of celebrities, oh, uh, Juicy J took to uh, Twitter to say, there's nothing wrong with paying a woman's bills. We got to stop this bullshit. Man, y'all tripping. You motherfuckers <laughs> go to the strip club. Yeah, throw your weekly check, then be talking about I'm not paying no B. Man, stop it. I'm telling you to do anything. I'm not telling you to do anything that's your money. You handing off, not trick, not mine. Trick on these niggas, but she's not worth it. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. I don't think anything's mm. wrong with, with doing for the lady that you're fucking with. Exactly. I, I just don't. I'm, I was raised to be a provider, and that's Men how should I look be at providers it. and protectors. I agree, but I do think the lady that you're fucking with needs to uh, be holding it down more than just being, you know, you got to be better than just this fantasy brought at the strip club. That's true. Yeah, 100%. That's but, true. like, men are supposed to be protectors and providers. Women are supposed to be obedient and submissive. I'm sorry, ladies, but it's the truth. I, I disagree I don't, with that. I disagree with that, but too. But not all the time. Like, not all the time. I'm not saying that you're a fucking step for a wife. Right. But, like, there are a lot of women who get too independent. They're like, I ain't cleaning. I'm not just going to be at home. That's not good either. But it's not sugar or shit. There's It's it's a sliding scale. Of course it is. If you're going to stay with somebody forever, you're going to have a decade that's one way, a five years that's another way, another five that's another way, and you guys just got to be a team and rock with it. 100%. If I got to hand you this pistol, I need you to put it away. (laughs) Or shoot it. It can't always be the shooter, baby. We're a team. I understand that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is a lot of a lot of people in general, like they, they'll say, I'm not getting her shit, I'm not whatever, whatever, but then mad when she pop off. Like I've, if you're not doing nothing for the household, then you're gonna hear everything I have to say. You're just gonna have to take this to the face. I look at it more as a partnership. Like, especially if you know that you're bringing in more income than your your partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, like right now, Farron's not she's not working. She quit her job back in March. So good job, fair. Um, I'm in a position to like you know take a load of the, the the bills and then still give her X amount every month so she has money so she doesn't have to ask me when she wants to buy something or go shopping. So that's awesome. I think that's I think that's great because she holds down the house. She makes sure the kid is good, homework's done, yeah, house is clean, all that type of stuff. And that's not like her only. That's o- that's not only her responsibility. When I'm home, I wash clothes and put the dishes in the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher. Cook food occasionally, but when I'm not there, she holds that down. So yeah. you know, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I will say At this all. though, to the niggas that's out here trying to live that life, what is expensive is cheating. That if, you niggas, if you niggas can't afford to cheat, don't Man. do it because women ain't gonna just sit up and just take no dick. They're gonna want to go out eventually. Mm-hmm. They're gonna tell you about their birthday intentionally. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna want to do some shit, and that gets expensive. So if yep. you're going to cheat, make sure you got your bread up. If and you want to date multiple women, you want to date multiple bad women, you best to have your bread up. Because they ain't going to just be giving out no ass for nothing. And, and then you got to apologize. The gas apologize, money got to be right, uh, too, because you can't date them in the same county, nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> everybody in everybody in the three county radius knows that bad bitch by name. She's been the baddest bitch in middle school, the baddest mm. bitch in high school. She went away to college and came back, and they were like, "We finally got our bad bitch back." Now you done went in there and pulled her. You fucking all on her. Niggas see you sitting in the corner with her in the club. They know her by name. They be like, "That's Demisha." Not Demisha. Yeah. So then when you fuck around with another bad bitch, she got to go to Portland, Oregon. Nigga, you need a flight. Yeah. 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 yeah, flights is another thing. Flights. Yeah. Like, have you looked at flights oh, lately, nigga? I just try. I'm looking nigga. for a flight. I have to go to Atlanta to do a show on June 11th. Today is May 9th when we're filming this. Mm. I looked up a flight mm -hmm. today, a month out. Yep. For June 10th. Yeah. Coming back on June 12th. 12th. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Delta. Yep. First flight I saw, one thousand seventy nine dollars. Listen, that's get not even first class. You get to step I'm away supposed from to be Delta. going to uh, Atlanta on the twenty first. Same thing. I've been looking for three weeks. It went down to seven ninety yesterday. Yes. When I went on Priceline, the lowest I saw was like seven ninety. What, what What are you guys looking on your tickets on Priceline and what else? I go skip lag. I go Google price. I go through all of you them. You go through Google flights. I do all of it. Yeah. So you you are you doing what you're supposed to yes. do? Yes. I just do Delta. But I Delta, but line. no, you go to you go to like Skip Lag because mm -hmm. Skip Lag will tell you what the cheapest Delta flight is, and then you go book it straight through Delta. Yeah. So if you don't have to check Let no bags, Skip bag, Lag skip, search for you. Yeah. Exactly. The Skip Lag be doing some. I I know what they do. They do the the thing where they they put you on flights that are connecting, and usually that connecting flight is a little cheaper than a direct. And you just flight get off like the that. flight. Yeah, a you lot just get off the plane. So really, you just like I a booked a ticket cheaper. to Baltimore, mm -hmm. and that shit was cheap. But it had a layover in Atlanta. I just got off the plane in Atlanta right. and kept it moving. See, my thing is like when that happens, that's 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 in the case where you have to take your luggage with you, right? Yes, but what you do is it's if you travel now. the way you travel, yeah, it's gonna send your shit down. Mm, okay, you just FedEx it to your destination, wherever the hotel is, wherever you're going, and then you get there, all your shit just be there at the front desk, and you're good. Same way you send merch. Yeah, I, I don't and know. see, I'm I just, I just do I do carry ons, and it always mm -hmm. it's always worked out for me, and you get. Because you didn't use that whole ticket, you get a little bit of money back in your little Delta account afterwards, too. Oh, they yeah. give you back some money? Mm-hmm. Well, I, from what, I didn't know that. But from what I understood, like, you can do it, and I have multiple times. But, I'm like, I try to, like, not abuse it so that they're not putting that with my frequent flyer number. It'd be like, this mm -hmm. nigga will get off anywhere. Yeah. If you no, start, you don't do off. it all the time. But I, booking through skip lag is the what puts that little, fla that little flag on there. But if you look at, say... I'm going to Baltimore. Then you go over to Delta and get it through Delta. They don't pay attention. To no, I, what, what gets I'm the flag is when the they walk card. onto the plane and they go, uh, we're looking for, ring, no, ring the bell if a passenger, passenger Vanessa Graddock is on the flight. Mm -hmm. They don't know and what don't happened get, in they my be life. Like, Spoon. They're like, well, fuck it. He must be in the airport somewhere. I, they don't know I'm what happens in your life. I'm just going to it on my credit card. That's true. I'll just pay it off. They I, have no idea. I just, I can't chance it. I need, I need, my, I need, my, I need my shit with me. That's my biggest thing. You can't take a carry-on? I can, but... I get three bags checked for free, and I like to use that shit. But listen, this is what you need to for do. For two days? Okay. No, I, I won't use three bags, but yeah, like... Yeah, he gonna pack anything crazy. I, anything I can... Because brings shit with him. I and do you know how I shit. know he brings a lot of bags? Because what he enjoys doing is hiding his bag tags and other people's shit. <laughs> and it don't make no <laughs> goddamn don't no sense bag tag how much you do he a, has. Uh... <laughs> You're like, why do you have 12 bag tags, nigga? We went to... Like, we went a three-hour flight. You should not have 12 bag tags to hide. But I'll say this... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you like Delta, and you're running up your miles on Delta, and you're getting oh, in, in the depth points. On, okay, uh -huh. yeah, but if the flight is less for that one particular trip, nigga, no, I'm fuck a Delta the benefits, yeah, and get your ass to that city because yeah. you get to Atlanta riding. on. Well, here's, here's another I'm not thing I wrote. Anything but Alaska right well, now. They're the on thing. strike. Uh, Spirit, the Spirit ticket was eight oh four. Yeah, no, that shit is crazy. Spirit, you got some motherfucking nerve if your flight attendants are sleeping on the floor of the airplane and y'all gonna charge eight oh four. So I'll kiss my ass. My I'll drive, girl, bitch, before I pay that. My homegirl is going to Philadelphia. Yeah, mm -hmm. eleven $1 hundred dollars flying Spirit there and American back. Eleven $1 hundred fucking dollars to go on Spirit. Won't be me ever. Well, I tell you what's going on. They recouping. Oh, it's that's the, what it feels like. And it's the gas prices. Yeah, nobody flew yeah. for two years. But gas prices are so high right now, so jet fuel is high as well. No. I, I, just, I don't know. No. I, I, they I, recoup. They just went a whole year with empty planes flying around the country. People were still flying, though. I ain't going to hold Not I like was, that. I was you flying. Remember, I was flying like But there was times you went and you were like, I, was, I remember sitting on a plane like, I am the person on this plane. <laughs> and it still has to go. They got to do the routes. <laughs> I'm telling the pilot, you ain't even got to lock that door, man. I ain't coming up there. <laughs> Don't leave it on the hands. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my own snacks. Everybody stay seated. Let's do this. And if I go to sleep, hey, we all, you checking out if I'm sleepy? 
For real, the plane would be <laughs> completely em- whole I airports know. were empty when we came back from uh, Australia from doing you know, international airports. Mm-hmm. You could play catch like it was so empty. Now I remember Man. they flying again. Whole planes full. They fucking up the Twenty eight people on standby. Can't get in. No, mm-hmm. it's, the airport is a real deal now, especially you, with it being spring break man. and every plane you is a damn. There got to be a millionaire to 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 book a round trip flight on the airline of your choice to where you want to go. It is absolutely yes. ridiculous. But I tell you what, you don't have to be a millionaire. For, <laughs> Here we go. And that's what Masterworks. Okay, Masterworks, Masterworks has offered over one hundred paintings and sold three, each realizing. Um, a net annual gain Let's above run it back. 30%. Let's, let's run it back. Masterwork, ladies and gentlemen. Masterworks allows you or anyone to invest in artworks without <laughs> being a millionaire. Since 2017, Masterwork has offered over 100 paintings and 100 sold three, paintings. each realizing a net annualized gain above 30%. Wow. This isn't an overall indication of performance, and past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Listen, basically, this is what this is, ladies and gentlemen. You get to create a portfolio and invest money in certain pieces of art, okay? That means you don't have to buy the whole thing. You get to invest some money into the ownership of said piece of art. And then when said piece of art sells, you get the money. Now, why this is so big is because, one, this has never really been done before, all right? Usually when you want to buy a piece of art, you have to buy the entire piece of art. But they are not doing that. Masterworks allows you to become part of an owner of a beautiful piece of art without buying the whole thing. You know, you can sell the shares on the secondary market at any time, providing liquidity. Providing. Masterworks was founded in 2017 by Scott Lynn, a, se- hey, a serial Scott. entrepreneur and art collector. He was an art collector for years and realized art is the largest asset class that was never scrutinized. You guys heard Jay-Z say it. He bought a piece of art for one million. Two years later, it's worth three million. Three mm-hmm. years later, it's worth ten million. Art is one of those things that always appreciates. appreciates okay, mm-hmm. that's what you want to do. Okay. Cars Picasso. depreciate. Shoes like obviously it. depreciate. Everything else depreciates. But art in your house, oh mm-hmm. baby, up. we talk about money now. So listen, if you want to add some money to something safe, all right. It's not like the housing market where it's going to crash in a couple years. Boom. Art is always going to go up. You need to start investing your money. And if you're not ready to, to invest it in the stocks, then you really need to look at the Masterworks, okay? So start building a diversified art portfolio at masterworks.art slash D-I-Y-S. Again, masterworks.art slash D-I-Y-S. Very easy. If you need any more information, you go to masterworks.io slash about slash how it works, and they will tell you exactly what you need to know. But listen, start putting your money in somewhere. Make sure you're saving some for uh, your retirement, saving some for your grandkids, whatever Save it is. It. But put that money up and invest it in something that can appreciate. Oh, and you. check out Masterworks. Masterworks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this duet. This commercial duet. Oh, you gonna take it to the face? <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to apparently, because <laughs> he ain't gonna change that voice or nothing. That is just. I can change it if you want, but I just feel like it's hidden. It's hidden, man. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's rocking and rolling, baby. It's rocking and rolling. Uh, we had a couple more stories <laughs> I wanted to touch on before we get out of here. Uh, let me pull Where's this Patrick? one up. Um, Patrick had an emergency with the family, so he couldn't make. He was on his way up here. Emergency. I'm just like, yeah, I'll tip you out in a minute. Uh-huh. Um, that sucks. I wanted to talk to him. I did too. Future has a new perfume out. It's called Baby Mama. It's called Sensational. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, it dropped right before Mother's Day. It's a perfume or a cologne? It's a, it's a perfume. For the ladies? Coming soon, ladies. Sensational. 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 He says that Yeah, in, in the clip. I don't think I want future perfume. Really? Nah, Why? I'm good. Is that something for the pheromones? Most of the rappers and singers, their perfumes and colognes have, haven't missed, really. It's like Jay-Z Gold. Is, is Jay-Z's a, Gold is was a pretty nice good. smell. Listen. Yeah. Diddy's thing was all fruit bait. That was a good smell, too. I, I said future specifically. I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Why? They got the resources to put behind it. They go through all the testing it's and they pick it. It's going to smell they... like Sierra's tears. I don't want it. No, what? <laughs> no. No, but it will get you pregnant. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it makes you drop your senses and your guard so you uh, get, anyone can get How, it real you quick. You got like 42 baby mamas. Yes. That's a number. And 15 exes since Sierra. But we be yes. dragging her every time we hear that name. 
God, Dragon. I think it's that only was because just the most she, famous. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I think she was just because she she had the biggest name, at and the she's time. doing well. Like, yeah, I'm she's not, doing I'm, really well. She's great. I'm not dragging her. I'm just saying. Russell, in general, Russell saw saw the God in her and and made her his queen. You Russell, gotta respect. Her. He made a I good woman. I love them as of. a couple. But uh, no, because I feel like as soon as I spray it on, I'm going to be pregnant and I don't want no parts of it. Mm. That's how he goes. Him and Nick Cannon, no sentence from them are going on me. Nothing. I don't want to shake hands. I don't want high fives. I don't want nothing they got. Nick, Nick, hey, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anybody that can have kids and be in their lives and take care of them. I don't like yeah. when they they having these babies and they're just throwing money at them and thinking that's going to do it because that's Correct. not going to do it. I feel like you still need to be in that child's life. I really feel like it's really important for uh, a child to have the instruction and guidance from both parents. It makes a difference because there's certain things that I can teach my daughter that fan has no idea how to even attack, and and vice versa. Vice versa, yeah. So I think I think it's really important. Nate came from a two family household. Look at him, outstanding gentleman. <laughs> you know, chivalrous, pulls out doors and seats. You know, he's out here doing his thing. You come two parent household. You know, I don't pull out. And then, kind of did. And, and see, she went to Hampton and was drinking <laughs> Merlot out of niggas' belly buttons. You see the difference? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it was, there was a break in the two parenting, and then it came back around. There was, yeah. there was a little break. <laughs> he came back like, look, ain't, ain't nothing. Dude, we really took, we took a little boy. break. Let's just, uh, let's just go ahead. Let's, <laughs> let's just wrap it back up. Let's get it back together real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was one more. Damn it. Damn it. They asked me, what songs would you sing to someone's vagina or penis since oh. y'all brought it up before? Oh. Wait, what? That's in the chat. What Scrolling song would down. y'all sing? Someone sings. I said, I don't sing for dick. Somebody said, but you would hum. Water you whistle. <laughs> I hum. <laughs> <laughs> What's your go to shower song? She said, she hum on it. <laughs> she, why do you sing on it a hummer? hummer? Yes, it is called a hummer. Mm mm. Mm-mm. Uh, what's my go-to shower song? Go-to shower song. Uh, it depends on if I'm how I'm feeling. Uh, usually, mm-hmm. when I sing in the shower, it's because I'm in my feelings. So you're going to get some Carrie Underwood drinking alone. Uh, so you only sing in the shower when you're in your feelings. You don't just wake up happy and just sing Lovely Day in the shower or nothing like that? I turn on music and sing whatever's on the okay. thing. Okay, but if I'm fair. just in my feelings and yeah. I be in it, because you know, you get in the shower and then the water start mixing with your own tears and yeah. you start feeling some type of way. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Drinking alone. Okay. Oh, it's crazy that we didn't have a better help uh, ad today about <laughs> therapy. It would have been good. You can get 10% off your first month. What's your, <laughs> what's your go to shower song? <laughs> I just sing whatever's on my joint the same way she talking about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, right now I've been bumping this. So you, you're a, you're a music connoisseur, so yes. you appreciate this. So there's a group, a band out of a New Zealand called LAB, mm-hmm. and they put me on it when I was in Australia, mm-hmm. and they kind of jamming, but they got this one song called In the Air, and mm. it's my first time getting real nostalgia from a song. Mm. Damn. So when I play it, it makes it reminds me of the good times that the cast had and all that stuff. Where we're all out there. Also, the nostalgia is like it's not like from your childhood; it's from that experience. Which is from that, yeah. Like it's, okay, you know, I don't have a bunch. It's not like I've had an anniversary and Tony, Tony, Tony makes me go, oh, <laughs> I ain't married. I don't have no wedding song to be like, oh. I feel you. Tony, Tony, Tony though always reminds me of like when I was young, riding in the car with my mom. She was a big Tony, Tony, yeah. Tony fan, big mint condition fan. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, anytime best I hear band in the land, pretty brown eyes, you send me swing well, see, anniversary. Is, my my parents are, are older. Yeah. It's like so yeah, we Shirley skip Caesar. the whole Okay. <laughs> Gladys Knight the Pills. Gladys Knight the Pills. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm lying. I have another time when I have a nostalgia. But like uh Michael Jackson's uh Christmas mm-hmm. album when there's Jackson Five. Jackson Five. That reminds every year from when we open presents. Yeah. Doom 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 doom. You know what I'm saying? That comes on. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. And that's when we're ripping our shit yeah. off. Now. Like, it's not right without that plan. It ain't right for me without Let It Snow. If I don't hear boys and men Let It Snow, mm-hmm. Christmas ain't for Christmas? real. It, I gotta hear like it at least once. Just during the presents or at all? Just once. Like right. during Somewhere. the season. For a lot yeah. of people, it's that Mariah Carey. That Mariah Carey. Yeah. For she, me, it's oh, Sounds of crazy. Blackness. They're Ooh. from Minnesota as well. Sounds of Blackness, Christmas Carol. I ain't never heard that stuff. It goes now. You know I'm that one? talking about we, we, everybody's seated, they mm-hmm. got their presents, and then we press play. Really? All right. 
It's like that. It's Go that much it. of a ritual? Yeah, mm. it's set to that point. So that's the only other nostalgic kind of song I would say. But that it was the reason why that LAB in the air song is because like literally every time we had like a, a any barbecue or anything to get mm-hmm. to they were like mm-hmm. just a cash song like <laughs> and it's not even a slapper it's but not it's even a, a slapper it sounds kind of Hawaiian like it's got some <laughs> guitar in it yeah but it's 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 dope you, you check it out you can appreciate I, it yeah, I'm you'll I'm hear it and it. you'll think of the vibe at which mm-hmm. what goes with that mm-hmm. to me a nice cold beverage and maybe a cigar you gotta have your feet up mm-hmm. and then just relax and then put on LAB in the air I like it. I'll, I'll check it out. Now I gotta check it out. I yeah. mean, you know, I'm not expecting it to be, you know. He said it no, on slap, but it's yeah, no it's Frankie not, Beverly I'm and May. It. Always, no, 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 it's five white and New Zealand people. Mm. White and New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're all from New Zealand, but New Zealand has like specific. The yeah, let's better. say there's 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 white uh-huh. or fair skin <laughs> New Zealand, and then there's like Maori. You know what I'm saying? With like the chin tattoos, and then there's like Samoan descent. chin tattoos. Oh yeah, they get they have they actually have their first. Uh, they have a, a lady. A, a, she's a weather woman, I believe, a newscaster. And, and she, she has, got the chin tattoo. She has the Maori pride. She's proud Maori. She's beautiful too. Wow, yeah. I did not know that that was going on. That's, <laughs> that's I saw. New. I saw it on the internet. It was scary. You were in Australia, Australia. You were like really in the, in the outback. No, the NASA, that was a misconception because I was trying to bring a knife with me and everything. When I got there, mm-hmm. we were in Brisbane, and that's like Burbank. That's city. Oh, really? That's city, Bro, city. I was expecting snakes and spiders, and there was a Johnny Rockets. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. that was my next question. Did I didn't you see, see some single, of the big ass? I saw nothing. Australia big. got I some saw of the no scariest animals. I would never want. He had to go there and fit. How long you were there? Uh, Three and a half months. I Yeah, I would have been terrified. During like, the I'm height of COVID, that's why I missed all of it. There was no... There was... uh. We, I held a koala. Mm-hmm. I fed kangaroos with my bare hands, but there was no spiders. No, I, I was low key let down. I didn't want to be bitter, nothing, oh, uh-uh. but I wanted to like look maybe through a window and see like, yo, yeah. Because Australia got that shit that Crikey. they have at the okay, bottom of the something. ocean. Like yeah. it's like the whole ocean came up and just shit you ain't never seen before. I don't. But I didn't I'm see. Good, I, didn't, I didn't even see any Aborigines. They're mm-hmm. they're in like way way northwest mm-hmm. Australia. We were in south east. Mm-hmm. The kangaroos, though, were they buff like how you see There's different Instagram? kinds. I didn't expect that either. So the, the different ones kinds we, of kangaroos? Yeah, oh, my God, yeah. So the ones we know and we see, like, the on the internet, yeah. they was called big reds. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then there's, like, cuter ones that are, like, little gray ones. Mm. And those are the ones that are more domestic. Like, they'll come bouncing all through your yard and just be munching, and then they'll head out. Mm. And the big reds, I was at a, uh, a sanctuary, so all the animals were tamed and docile. So even the big reds that were, like, like big. They, I mean, but they were just like trained. You could walk up and just literally hold food, and they'd be like, "Man, come on." What was eat. the one that? Um, but they still had the six pack. They were laying there like, you know, I swear to God, nigga, so they really all that buff like that. Twitch, I will kick all your guts out. <laughs> what was the one that they had the Civil War with? Is that the emus? It looks like an ostrich, but it's not. That'd be an emu then. Yeah. But if they're in Australia, it might as well be an ostrich. They're there. No, they had like wars against like they tried to take over the. It was craziness. Riding them, right? No, they weren't. There you was there were too many there were ostrich. too many emus and it basically they had to call in the military and they went they oh, called it a oh. civil war where they were fighting the emus to get there were too many of them. So wait, what's the difference? I gotta see what's the difference between an emu and an ostrich. Emu is smaller, that's for sure. Really? Yes. Emu. But did you do uh, emu war? No, I didn't do that. I didn't say, okay, emus are pretty big birds. They can span seven feet tall and weigh as much as one hundred fifty pounds. However, the ostriches are even loud. A uh, larger ostrich can grow up to nine feet. And weigh as much as three hundred and twenty pounds. Does it say how fast they can run? Uh, not on I think it's this like one. Forty-one miles an hour top speed. Or Which something. one? The ostrich. Ostrich. That's why Kevin Iron has jokes about <laughs> running as fast as he can or being in a car and the ostrich running next to him. Like, where are you going? <laughs> so here it is. Okay, so yeah, they speed of an emu to up to thirty miles an hour. Thirty. That's faster than humans. And an ostrich can run up to forty-five miles an 45. hour. Forty-five. Okay. This nigga can merge onto the four hundred five. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> So the Emu War, also known as the Great Emu War, whatever, is a nuisance wildlife management military operation, uh, the later part of 1932, to address public concern. And they actually, it happened twice. They had an outbreak of emus. Where? Australia. So the emus out there smashing. So it's 19, there's 1932 and then when's the other one? I see them. Uh, I don't know where the other one was. Oh, I had put my phone down. My bad. 
There's got to be a lot of emails from them to be like, listen. Yeah. Call yeah. in the military. They was fucking like grasshoppers. Yeah. It's all outside with it. Call in the military. That's crazy as hell. All right. Well, thank you, Vanessa. You're Did welcome. not know that. You well, brought in a little knowledge. Dropped a little degree. knowledge. Okay. <laughs> That's what, listen, that's what red wine out of the belly button does. Listen, mm. it makes you sophisticated. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> that is almost as crazy as the types of flavors you get when you get a pack of Skittles that they have right now. So Skittles is dropping a new flavor called Perrier Lime. It's a, it's, a, it's a mix of the two types of Skittles where it's all green inside of it. So all you have to do is go to Skittles.com, and you can get you some Skittles, only the green. Are we all allowed to go into an ad, or is it only... I'm just trying to give people an option with their blue shoes and their Helix mattresses. <laughs> that therapy that you were talking about is still a thing. Text the rainbow. Before we get out of here, I was going to ask you your craziest <laughs> road story. <laughs> if you have one, queue it up, or you got one that you could drop for the people. <laughs> road story? Yeah. I don't know. But I really enjoyed going to that commercial right there that I made up. I didn't have enough. We uh, I didn't have enough copy. I needed some sales, yeah. co- <laughs> <laughs> some sales copy. Everybody should just have a fake, a fake commercial. They just roll it to. Yeah, that would that would be. We're gonna try that on oh the next show. Gosh. Uh, that oh. was that was pretty good. Nate Jackson, appreciate that, it. Uh, um, I need like a second to process craziest. craziest road story because I've seen some shit. Do you um, have one? I because we've been doing a whole lot of uh, sexual things. I'm not gonna go that route as far as craziness. That's what the people want? Nope, I'm not gonna give it to okay. them today. Uh-huh. Uh, this. Yeah. Part two. Come back tomorrow. You might be able to get it from it up. Possibly. Um, the craziest probably, this isn't road road, but it's still the road. I had to drive to get there. Okay. Victorville, California. Oh, my oh, God. Man, that's oh. Where it was so <laughs> can pop off. Hell yeah. A lot <laughs> of meth. Doing a show, mm-hmm. minding my business, wanted to go get a drink. The dude in front of me ordered a drink, and I was up next. I was like, yes, I'm going to get my little you tequila. You the green tree? I don't know what it was. It was some... In a some, hotel? No, it wasn't a hotel. It was like some event space. Like, okay. I don't know, probably a VFW. Who knows? Well, it's no, fucking they only, Victorville. They have two places, so yeah. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. If you weren't at the Green Tree Inn, you were at, the, you were at that, that one venue they had. Whatever it was, but I'm trying to get my drink, and then this dude in front of me got his drink uh-huh. and walked away and said, go now. The whole shit got sworn with police. They shut it down because they didn't have a liquor license. I never got my drink, and they still wanted me to perform. They took the cash box because on the flyer they were selling liquor, and they didn't have a license. So they took all the liquor, all the money, and then they still were like, so y'all going to go up in 20. Oh, (laughs) hell no, the fuck I'm not. (laughs) They took all the money. I said, and who go? I'm not going on shit. They didn't take all the money. So, so, so the officer got part. a drink and was like, that's all I need. Because yeah. they had to, uh, he had to prove that they were selling it. He that did, is he couldn't terrible, just guys. It. Throw a private event. Make people sign up for a membership and get you a banquet permit. Listen. You don't sell drinks. You sell tickets. Listen. Spoken like a true business owner right there. Spoken like I a don't true do that business. shit. I'm all the way legit with my license, but I'm just telling you how to <laughs> hustle. I know a couple people who have done it that way, but this, off. this was Victorville, and I don't think they knew any better. I mean, in Victorville, they, they, they looking knew for better. <laughs> they were just like, nigga, they ain't worried about us up here. They I can Ontario. imagine the cops are just looking for something to do because Victorville ain't big enough for a whole mm-hmm. lot of shit to be going on. And so then they you had all you the colors be in one spot surprised. at one time. What do you mean? It's for what? You would be surprised because Victorville's not just Victorville. It's like Apple Valley. It's everything up that hill. Mm. All of that is. It still ain't shit going on up there. I'm gonna be honest. It's a lot of meth up there. But it's enough it's so crime and meth. shit for the cops to be busy. All right. All right I'll got take to that. be. You got a story? No. Before I we get up out of here? So much. I just, <laughs> that was just, I was just putting in content and not even thinking. Go about now. What I was gonna say. Oh that. shit! I, shit. I appreciate you for being all into the story. Thank you. That's good. I, yeah, it was a good story. <laughs> Hell yeah! You were a part of a sting. Did you perform? We went up because I had them give me cash, like all the promoters. I was like, you're going to have to give me money. I'm not yeah. going up just because it was like 200 people there. And they were like, we want a show. Nigga, I want a shot. No. That, that I understand. I, I, I don't really drink before I perform. It was Victorville, like so somebody that, had some mm-hmm. Hennessy in their trunk. If I did, I would already had a bottle that we were all comics <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't drink like that before, but after, afterwards, oh, we're going to have a good time. After I my have done. one. I don't get drunk before I go on stage, mm-hmm. ever. But Okay. I it guess. was it was Victorville. It was Victorville. I needed a shot. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, man. Um, we're gonna get ready to get up out of here. Uh, because I have to shoot literally in like twenty minutes. But I want to thank my special guest for coming through. We got Nate Jackson out here, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, uh, you out here for the rest of the week, right? You got shows. Uh, I'm gonna do the improv tonight. Okay. But I'm I'm here because I booked a film. So oh, I'll congratulations! Be here. Thank you, thank you, you a baddie. Right. Be- okay. <laughs> baddie alert. 
Hey, Betty, yeah. I'm fine. Nate Why Jackson, the, the baddest <laughs> bitch I know. <laughs> his tongue is out of everything. So I booked a film. Yeah. Um, okay, TV shows, film. Yes, I should have yes. got you some pussy, Nate. I should really... <laughs> Well, it, back was, in the it, day. Was, it was on the table. Was it? And I tricked that off. That's, that's on I me. I did not know that it that was that, on me. There's an option to take, you asked, it. You take asked. it down. You asked, and I should have I <laughs> said yes. I asked. <laughs> you, you oh, how did I ask? I don't remember that. I was like, excuse me. That uh, is a first. I should have <laughs> gave you some pussy when you asked. That's not the first time I heard that. <sighs> Kanisha says that all the time. We went to college together. We never fucked. She's like, I <sighs> fucked that. I should have. I'm out here hollering. I'm out here dealing with all them omegas that didn't get the omega (laughs) that's going to pop. If I had a time machine. Man, I'd have had half a comedy club. We'd have been on NBC. That's literally what she said. She was like, Nate and Kanisha (sighs) super funny. I was like, get your ass off Nate and Kanisha super funny. You know it's bad when you come to the stage to say the light. (laughs) We both could have had our car wrapped. I didn't even have a light on me. The light. We would have both had our faces on the car when it was wrapped. Tell you how about Nate Jackson. Nate Jackson got his badass truck down, got that bitch sitting on some twenties and shit. But Nate Jackson 20 before the comic club, twenty fours. I'm sorry. Before the truck though, Nate Jackson Nigga. had this uh, the Chevy Nate Jackson Impala, Mobile. Chevy Malibu. Malibu, excuse 08, me. Young star. 08 wrapped with all of his face <laughs> contact. <laughs> then he had a little box on the business side of the cards. car where the business cards <laughs> went. You walk up to his car, flip the lid up, and grab a little business card and close it back down and go about the business. Yeah, shout out to Ace Hood. Because that's my inspiration for that. When I was in school in Miami, I saw him with like three vans all wrapped. Really? They said Ace Hood music. Mm-hmm. And I was like, if I ever get the bread, I'm going to mm-hmm. wrap a car. There you, there you go. I drove hey, around hey, did it, you did. Six faces on it in a business card box. Do you have um, <laughs> you have, <laughs> you have uh, <laughs> your socials where you want to drop and let people know where they can find sure, you? Sure, check me out. Uh, I would say what I'm holding and and perusing the most is Instagram. So at Mr. Nate Jackson on the gram. If you want to look into the club, go to at Super Funny Comedy Club. All right, there you go. Miss Vanessa Granick, you want to uh, tell people what you got coming up and where they can find you at? Uh, social media is at Vanessa Graddick on everything. All right. V-A-N-E-S-S-A-G-R-A-D-D-I-C-K. There it is. There it is. I'd be remiss if I didn't say my YouTube, too. I, you, should, you, so. you should say Nate it. Nate Jackson Comedy on YouTube, guys. Get on there. Click that button. You know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say my same shit again because I ain't have nothing else to add. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and do your thing, Sean. Uh, at Vanessa Graddick on everything. <laughs> And if somebody could teach me how to tick and talk, then I'll be on there too. Well, spell it. <laughs> you didn't spell it that time. V a n e s s a g r a d d i c k. There you go. All right, so we're about to do the, the outro. It's normally just thanks for watching. Damn, and then that you scared. But since you wanted to, no, no. But since you said you wanted to say you scary, I'll lay, I'll leave that part to you and you if you want to hop in with that. Uh-uh. All right, so I'm to hear more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for another episode of Damn Internet. You, you scary. <laughs> we will never do that again. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all next week. We Bye, wasn't guys. ready. We didn't practice. That's not how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> you scary. No, nobody's ever done like that. I you can't do it like you did. Ah! Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, so Lulu, that. Lulu did it like that, and that's why we got the idea. She was like, "Damn, internet, you scary like that." Okay. And we were supposed to make it a sound bite, but we never did it. We'll do it now. Give, give us one more shot at it. <laughs> Damn, internet, you, you scary. scary. Why are no. you stopping? <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, we want to join with you. Okay. Yeah. Damn, internet, you, you scary. scary. <laughs> All right, one more time. We got you now. Damn, internet, you, you scary. scary. <laughs> Right, one more time. No, one more time. <laughs> Cut it. Cut the screen.